I have tried to make it on my own, on my own, but these burdens, these old heavy burdens, they get a little bit too strong. My God, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, everyone is so worried about the Jamar Hamlin person and saying that he was blaspheming Jesus. Clearly, this man almost died. People prayed for him. And he is probably thanking Jesus and in his mind thinks that he is honoring Jesus. And so everyone, many of the Christians, are now jumping on this trend to talk about Jamar Hamlin. Blaspheming the Lord, they say. Well, the reality is the Bible talks about the fact that Jesus Christ... His visage was more marred, so marred that he was unrecognizable when I saw the Passion of the Christ. First and foremost, I refused to watch it. Popped up on TV. I thought, you know, this is good cinematography, good acting. I want to watch it. I want to just turn my head on certain parts, specifically the crucifixion, because I had determined in my soul that I was not going to watch the crucifixion part. I did not realize that the scene that they were showing, they were flashed back and forth between Mary at the cross and Mary dealing with Jesus as a child. I didn't know because I had not seen the movie. So I was not able to ignore the crucifixion scene, which was horrifying. The actor explained how he was actually electrocuted, struck by lightning while filming that. And he remembers being outside of his body in the spirit, looking at his body hanging on the cross as he was struck by lightning. And I'll pause that story right there because just look at that. All that man was trying to do is play the part in the movie to honor Christ and Jesus, God Almighty himself. Let that man get struck by lightning. He let him get struck by lightning. The Bible says that the Lord God Almighty, it says that Jesus Christ learned obedience through the things that he suffered. It says that God, it pleased God. It was the pleasure of God for Christ Jesus to be bruised. We already know the Bible says that he was wounded for our transgressions. And bruised for our iniquities. You know, or bruises under the skin. Shut up. We're talking about generational curses. We're talking about all of our sins going back to Adam. He says, if I be lifted up, I shall draw all Unto me, not all men, but just all sin. I would like to thank Pastor Melissa Scott. See, y'all keep saying that women can't pastor, but Melissa speaks Greek. If I'm not mistaken, she is Greek, and Greek is her original language. And she explained that that verse says, I will draw all unto me, not just people, the sins of the people. He had to draw all of the sin from Adam down to me, you, and everybody else into his body and pay the punishment and so God was pleased to see him bruised he was pleased to see him punished for our sins because sin must be punished the soul that sin shall die that's the curse of the law that's the sting of the law the fact that you know you wrong that's what makes your sin sting the fact that the law shows you that you are wrong and the Bible says that the soul that sins must die that's the curse of the law. The curse of sin and death. So he drew it into himself and God was pleased. And it says that Jesus learned obedience through the things that he suffered. Because he was so stressed about having to get up on that cross that he sweat blood. But after he finished sweating blood and crying to the Father, he said, nevertheless, your will. And he went ahead on and got on that cross. And he hung there and he died. And he got up on the third day. With all power in his hands. And so what they showed in the movie. The Passion of the Christ. Can never. 
never, ever, 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 ever show you what he really looked like. There was a little boy on YouTube back in 2009, 10, 11, 12, somewhere back then when YouTube was good, when you could Google things and find information. Now the powers that be are suppressing the information using the algorithms. But it's okay. That's why the Bible says, thy word I have hid in my heart. And so I thank God for minds to serve him. And so the little boy on YouTube many years ago drew a picture because he saw a vision of Jesus on the cross. And he drew a picture to show his mother what he saw. And the eyeball was hanging out. See, they say they plaited thorns and put it on his head. And they began to beat him in his face and command him to prophesy. Oh, shaka high. But see, you think that that was easy? You think he might have had a little cut on his eye? No, his eyeball, shatarabakai, hanging out. So when I see Jamar Hamlin, and I see the jacket, but the, it looks like the people who, who created SpongeBob created that jacket. When I see it, what I see is a more accurate depiction of what Jesus Christ actually looked like. And you saying that it's blasphemous. What's blasphemous is that white man with all that soft, long hair that y'all say is Jesus Christ. When historically it's impossible for those people in that area to have been white. Semitic people are not white. Hamitic people are not white. And there were Hamitic, Sudanese-looking Kushite people in that land who even the priests were marrying and God said send them away like he sent away Hagar who had to find a wife for her son who was half Israelite and half Egyptian and so she went the Bible says to her own people to find a wife for her son so the Ishmaelites would have been African again think Sudanese and then we know that Esau married the daughter of Ishmael I need somebody who knows Bible history to, to talk to me up in here on today. So there's no way possible. That's blasphemous. But what you saw in his jacket is actually a more accurate depiction. And the Bible on the, actually, I'm sorry, his jacket, it says eternal. Yes, because the Bible says that Jesus Christ died so that we could have everlasting life. The word does not say eternal. Only God is eternal, but everlasting life. But you're mad. And the thing that just really bothers me is Tupac's daughter said the Chiefs will win. The score will be 34 to 37, probably. It turned out to be 35 to 38. And she talked about how these things are rigged, just like past Super Bowl winner, I forget his name, has also explained that the Super Bowl is rigged. And so you guys still were distracted by all of that. Meanwhile, people who are satanic, ritually abused, sex trafficked children were having their minds controlled by the color coded system of mind control used at the Grammys where they showed everything in red. And then they did the same thing at the Super Bowl halftime show because as Tory Outlaw, a.k.a. Alice and Leilani Carter said, they will be raping children, physically raping them underneath the Super Bowl. That if you go to Arizona, you're probably seeing a sex traffic victim every two seconds because they are being called there using mind control programming where the person is now a total different personality, disassociative identity disorder, multiple personality disorder. And so they are triggering these people to be out of their mind so that they will actually catch Ubers and try to do anything they can to get to Arizona where they can be re-abused, trafficked, raped, have their organs removed, have people pay to come have sex with their dead bodies after they rape you and you're dead now they're going to charge for people to have sex with your dead body and then take your organs out and sell those and then stuff your carcass with drugs and ship that and because that is the main reason that the united states of america is so wealthy they were willing to do anything to distract you and they knew the main people we must distract is the christians because we have to make sure that they are not praying and so you had Super Bowl parties at your church and you got distracted by a jacket. I'm going to say it again. You had Super Bowl parties at your church and you got distracted by a jacket. Meanwhile, the children are being raped. There is 
no way I can live without you. Nevertheless, Jesus Christ is Lord and he's on his way. Get a Bible, read it, and do what it say. God bless you.